here is Steeljaw from the brand new Robots in Disguise line from Hasbro based on the new cartoon, which we've gone over a little bit in Grimlock's video. Uh, maybe even Bumblebees too. I don't know what order I'll be releasing these in. So surprise, maybe, who knows where this will show up. But, uh, but yeah, he's a, he, I, I love his car mode. I, I'm, I'm still not sure how I feel about his his robot mode, but I, I really I really dig his car mode. His weapon stores up here, which is a Wolverine claw. He only gets one, unfortunately. But uh, he's just got a bladed claw coming up over him. But there's his base car mode. And, and, I, and I like the lines of it. Like a, a lot of the, the vehicle designs in this show I'm really digging. Um, and even a lot of the base character designs. The toys are, are uh, a mixed batch for me. But uh, at least here in vehicle mode, I really dig the lines of his vehicle mode. He's got that same Decepticon logo. And there's a pattern around it that's different for each character. These are just stickers. You can pull them off. Although there is a recessed circle here. So, like, pull this off and paint it. it may not look as good on Steel Jaw as it would on, uh, say, Grimlock, where, he, where it's kind of on his chest. Uh, you're not ruining the vehicle mode here. But, uh... But yeah, they're just stickers if you don't like them. But yeah, there's there's an app that'll scan each character and let you play stuff with it, I guess. So where do we start transforming? We pull out his tail here. He does have a tail, which is kind of cool. And then, uh, come on. You, you gotta really work to snap these arms together. So you snap those together, bring his arms here out to the side. His legs come down. And then fold around like that. And same here. Fold around like that. Bring his leg back around. And, and his legs don't fold more than that. He's got these kind of digitigrade. Is that the word I'm looking for, legs? Um, so yeah, it looks like there may be another pin in there, but oh well. He's got these silly legs. And then this whole assembly, you pull these out. This whole assembly rotates down. Bring his arms up into the body and his wolf head comes up through and then his arms come up and peg in Just come up and peg in he's got some high shoulders and then the arms you actually extend all the way down until you now make sure you pull them all the way down so his elbow bends and then you close these up around his arm so he's got these really long lanky arms He said, if you find you can't bend it, just extend it a little bit more. There's a little hump there that I have to get over. And like I said, his feet don't really support him very well because of the way these legs are designed. And I haven't found... It looks like there might be some way to get... To uh, flip that... There's a pin, Well, there's a pin there. I don't know. Looks like maybe there's a way to get the feet to be a little different, but maybe not. Maybe that's just how it's put together. Now, you can support him with his tail. Uh, and his tail has a couple ball joints in it. You can use to bring him up. And it'll kind of support him. He's not... There you go. He's not great. Um, I, I, I like his I like his wolf head. I like the lines of his car mode uh, as a toy. I mean, he, he may look really awesome on the show. He's got this giant backpack with the wheels back here that don't do anything. Um, I, I like the fact that they gave him a tail in robot mode. An articulated tail at that. Um, but I feel like maybe those joints could have been budgeted into something to make him... Actually, a little bit better as a robot. Um, base design, he looks cool. On, on his actual card art, it looks like in the show he's actually going to be more of a grayish blue, like a darker gray blue, than what we were getting here in the toy, which I think looks a lot better, but we'll see. Uh, now, the blade weapon, if you manage to buy two of them, you can use two blade weapons. It uh, looks like it's designed to go in his left hand, but uh, you can also, you know, it's just a peg. You can put it underneath his right hand. You can use it on either side. So again, if you got two, you'd have you give him two Wolverine claws. I still feel like there's something I'm missing in these feet, but I didn't see anything in the instructions. And uh, like I said, he, he's really kind of hard to pose and stand unless you use that tail for support. And even that's kind of a a midland proposition because the joints he does have ball joints in his tail, but they're a little loose. So there we go. I guess you pop it back like that, like a tripod. There he is. So yeah, not bad, but um, I think he may be the weakest of the way for me, despite having some neat design ideas. There he is with Grimlock. Uh, 